Good morning. Welcome to Computer Lab Space. Watch my previous videos on C programming. Today uh, we will learn one simple topic that is how to convert a mathematical expression into a C expression. Okay. So let's start. So how to convert a mathematical expression into C expression. Okay. The most commonly asked question for your internals and even for your externals, they will give uh, five or uh, four expressions, four mathematical expressions, and they will tell, uh, they will ask you to write how to uh, write this mathematical or how to convert this mathematical expression into C expression. Okay. So we'll start with a simple one. So if this is a mathematical expression, x divided by b plus c plus y divided by b minus c. So like this, we can write, right? But we cannot able to type like this even in your program or as an input in the terminal. So that's why we need to know how to convert a mathematical expression into C expression. If we miss even a single bracket, it will give us with the different result compared to the expected result. Okay, fine. So now for this one, generally how we are going to write this x divided by then b plus c. So b plus c. If I write like this, what happens? Either this division symbol is applicable only for b. So that is what the meaning of this x divided by b then plus c it is going to solve. So for this purpose in order to avoid this confusion we need to make use of the brackets whenever it is necessary. So according to this if I write like this what happens here b plus c is going to be calculated first then it is going to be divided or this x value is going to be divided by the addition of b plus c variable or the upper ends isn't it then plus right then even y divided by b minus c so for our convenience you can also put brackets here is it clear so the second expression now a plus then b a d plus e then divided by b minus a okay minus c divided by d how we are going to write the mathematical expression for sorry c expression for this so a plus it is fine then b a into d plus a right so obviously even if we don't put any bracket here a into d since the first priority is going for multiplication a into d is going to be calculated so if you want you can also put brackets here then this one is over divided by b minus a since this division is applicable only to b of a d plus e divided by b minus a i have put bracket here Okay, for B, this open bracket and close bracket minus C divided by D. So C divided by D. Is it clear? Hmm? Then this, uh, I, I hope this concept is clear now. Next, we will go for the third one. So this is also simple. A equals 5x plus 3y divided by a plus b so how we are going to write the c expression for this it is easy so a equals 5 into x plus 3 into y divided by a plus b right for fourth one b equals the most commonly used this one s into s minus a into s minus b into s minus c so how we are going to write b equals we don't have a symbol to put the square root for this expression right so we are going to make use of a mathematical 
uh, function that is a SQRT to represent the square root. You cannot write square root completely because since this is what the predefined function, predefined mathematical function we have that is SQRT then S into S minus A into S minus B into S minus C. Okay, so this is how we need to write. Then fifth one, C equals E power X plus Y minus 10. What is the meaning of E here? This is exponential. It is exponential. So C equals exponential. For this also we have a mathematical function that is EXP which represents exponent. Okay. Then if the result is negative or positive, if, if we want to get a positive value only or the exponential power value, uh, if the uh, value should be a positive one, we need to make use of this absolute A, B, yes. This is also a mathematical function. Even if the result is negative, it is going to give us with the positive digit. So that is what A, B, yes, absolute. This is also a mathematical function. Is it clear? So this is how we need to write this expression. Then sixth one. So D equals, this is power, X power 25 plus Y power 25. So how we are going to write this? For this also we have a mathematical function that is power. So P O W of X comma 25 plus P O W of Y, minus, y comma 25. It is a combination, it is a pair of a variable or the upper end along with the value, right? We will solve few more. 7 are over, right? Or 6 are over. Okay, seventh one. We already know the quadratic equation, right? So one such example we are taking here, one such expression. So minus B plus B square minus 4 EHC divided by 2a. So how we are going to write for this x equals minus b plus we already know for the square root we have the mathematical function that is sqrt b square need to write like this b into b minus 4 into a into c right then you close the bracket till here divided by 2a that is 2 into a if you want to put you can put the brackets here then the last one x equals exponent that is e power square root of x plus e power square root of y divided by x sine square root of y for this how to write the c expression so x equals exponent, right? So e x p of, it is square root of x. So square root of e x, right? Plus e x p of square root of y. Clear? Square root of y. Then divided by x into sign of square root of y like this you need to write if you want to put the brackets you can put for this since this is completely divisible by x sine square root of y i hope this concept is clear how to convert a mathematical expression into c expression if you like the video if it is useful Give thumbs up, click on subscribe and click on bell icon for uh, to get the notifications. Thank you.